Today I'm going to be sharing about a reconstruction option that was brought to my attention when I was looking at different avenues to choose after my mastectomy surgery. And this is one that I hadn't heard about. Good day to you. My name is Chelsea. I'm a breast cancer survivor and I made this channel to provide a little bit more of a personal perspective into the breast cancer journey. I found when I was going through it, there was a lot of excellent information coming from specialists, but sometimes when I was making those tough decisions, I really wanted to hear from someone who had been through it themselves. So that is what I'm doing here for you. And I hope that it's helpful. The topic for today is tissue expanders. This is one of the many options that can be used for reconstruction surgery after a mastectomy. Now, this is an option that I chose to take. However, I'm not going to go into my personal experience today. I'm going to give more of an overview of what I learned about the tissue expander. And in another subsequent video, I will share a little bit more about my personal experience. The purpose of the tissue expander is to expand the tissues and the muscle under the breast tissue to create space for another device to be put in more long term. The tissue expander is a temporary short term tool to be used for a later long term device to be placed. When is the tissue expander used? So there are a couple of options that I was told about depending once again on your treatment preferences and the suggestions of your specialist. When you have your mastectomy surgery, you could choose to have the tissue expander placed right away in your first surgery. The other option is to have a delayed placement. So you could heal up from your first mastectomy surgery, continue on with your treatments if you need to allow your body to heal up and then have another surgery to have the tissue expander placed at a later date. So there are different shapes of tissue expanders. It depends on what the goal of the final shape is. But for me, the one that was placed to me looked like a half BOSU ball. You know, the ones that are go on the ground, they're very stable, and then they have the circular bottom. So it was exactly like that. It was small and the bottom was very hard and very structured. It was um, not bendable at all. To me, it was sturdy. And then it had the half circle that was also kind of a thick material. It was somewhat structured, but going in, it wasn't, it wasn't that half dome shape. It was a little bit compressed, a little bit smaller. To me, it was a half bosu ball. One of the big questions I had was, how does this work? So there are a few steps to go through. So first of all, as I mentioned, you have the first mastectomy surgery or whatever surgery you're having at that time or at a subsequent time, the tissue expander is placed. It's placed under the breast tissue and it's placed under the pector, pectoralis muscle and left to heal. When your doctor recommends your surgeon, you go into their office and they find there's a metal port on the tissue expander, which can be felt. And in the metal port, there is a, a hole that they can put a syringe into. So they have a syringe with a certain amount of fluid in it and they push it into the tissue expander through the port and it takes that collapsed ball and it starts to fill it up. Over time, it just gets bigger and bigger until the surgeon says that the, you're at the desired volume for what your final goal is, your final look is, at which time you may sit kind of at that volume for a little bit to allow your, your muscle and your skin to get used to it. And then there would be a second surgery or a third, depending on the route that you choose to take to remove the tissue expander and replace it with something more permanent, like an implant. And then you would heal up and that would be your final result. And the last thing that I wanted to mention is the time frame. 
Now, once again, this is going to be very specific to each individual. Everyone's body is different. Everyone's surgeon is different. Well, I mean, some people might have the same surgeon, um, but the volumes being put into the tissue expander are probably going to be different. So it's not a cut and dry answer, but on a Google search, it said you would typically have your tissue expander in for three to seven months. Now, I will say that that was not my experience, but I will tell you a little bit more about that on the next video. I go into a little bit more detail on my experience. I do want to say that it's really important to talk to your treatment care team because not all options are great options for everybody. It really depends on a number of factors. So I don't know if this would be a good option for you, but I just wanted to provide the information so that if it does look like something that interests you, then you can ask the questions of your team. That is it on the tissue expander for today. I hope that you found this helpful to give you just a little bit of an intro into what it is and how it works. I welcome you to subscribe to this channel as I'm going to be continuing to share more about my experience with breast cancer and my life as a survivor. I hope you have the most wonderful day. My heart is with you. Take care. We'll see you next time.